Hello and welcome to my first video of Path of Exile, a free to play hack and slash game which is currently in open beta. Anyways, as you can see we're here in a prison ship in a champion selection. There are a couple of different champions you can play in this game and these are the Templar, Shadow, the Marauder, Ranger, a duelist and a mage. Now knowing me, <laughs> I just like bows and arrows so I'm just gonna go and play with the ranger. I picked up a name so let's continue. Can't own a life, not a deer's, not a rabbit's. So here we are, um, lying unconscious on a beach. <laughs> so the story goes that you have been in a prison ship, you have been dumped in the prison island with a single weapon here, a crude boy in our case, since we're a ranger. So let's just continue with the story. I'm just gonna go through the quest here. We're all that made it. They dumped. Two dozen of us exiles off that ship. Guess that makes us the lucky ones. <sighs> Luckier than this poor bastard beside me, at any rate. <coughs> Splinter sticking out of me. I missed all the important bits. <clears throat> I saw smoke at those ruins up the beach. Go get some help. And on my chest. Right, a corpse killed him. Never mind, let's just kill the corpse back. <laughs> <laughs> for you little fella. Anyways, as I said, this is a hack and slash game. Um, pretty, what, that pretty much means click, click and more clicking. <laughs> Anyways, the mob just dropped an item. Now let's see what this item is. Now this item is actually a gem. Now what does gems do? Gem, you can actually pretty much gem your weapons, gem your armor, mount up gems on your armor and it will give you special abilities, spe special boosts. So let's see what does this gem give uh, gives us. It fires an arrow that deals fire damage to its target and has an increased chance of setting it on fire. That is pretty good. We have three different gems and these are the red gem which gives you strength, a blue gem that gives you intellect and a green gem that pretty much is based on dexterity. That's pretty pretty neat thing to know. Another cool thing to know is that you can mount up any kind of gems on your weapons. For example, as a ranger you can mount up strength gems, intellect gems. It doesn't really matter. It, you have countless possibilities. And this is the part of the game which makes the game pretty pretty interesting. Anyways, let's mount up this gem onto our weapon here. As you can see we got a special ability here. And this ability it actually costs mana. It costs 10 mana if I'm not mistaken. So we have a couple of mobs here and let's just check out the normal normal um, attack. As you can see the normal attack the shoots a normal arrow. Now let's check out the oops, let's check out the special ability. Now as you can see it shot um flaming arrow. So let me equip this iron graves and now I've set it to equipped automatically. So every time I pick an item I don't have it will automatically equip it. Which is a pretty cool thing. Now the mobs will drop uh, different types of items. Now the most useless, let's say like that, are the white items. Then go the blue ones are a little better, yellow ones are really good and orange ones are pretty much really really rare items which you will not see often. <laughs> now there is a good, good... You would, you would ask yourself why why would you pick up the the white items. Well, the game doesn't have any currency, which means that every t how to how does the currency go? You actually trade with vendors, trade items with vendors, which means that you trade an item, you will get another item, which is a pretty cool thing. Now, there are some items which you will need for blue for un un unidentifying blue items, which is called Scroll of Wisdom. Now, what does that scroll mean? It actually tells you what kind of a enchantment or, let's say, ability the blue item has. So, in order, the, the it's called a Scroll of Wisdom. As I said, we have three Scrolls of Wisdom over here. They're dropped by mobs. Not really that usual, but they can drop by mobs. Uh, the other thing is you can actually pick up these white stuff and actually trade it with the vendors. Now they will give you um, pieces of the scroll of wisdom which can be combined into into actual scroll of wisdom 
you need five pieces to combine into a scroll of wisdom. So that's a pretty cool stuff to you know, pretty neat thing to know. My mana is gone. Now on the bottom side you can actually see the experience um, bar. We're pretty close to the to reaching level two. Every time you kill a mob, of course, you get a certain amount of experience. Another thing which is really good to know is on the right, um, not right, but the left side of the screen, bottom left side, which I'm is leveled up, breathing. on the bottom left side, side of the screen, we have flasks here. Now, let me just take some damage here from these mobs. As you can see, we're losing hell over here. Now, if you place, um, if you pre place, pre place uh, if I press number one, we will regain some of that health. Not some, but all full health, and the flask will be kind of, um, let's say, empty. Now, every time you kill a mob, the flask will go, you know, a little bit full and fuller and fuller, and which that means that you will replenish the flask every time you kill a mob, which is a pretty pretty cool thing. Now, let's go and check this out. We have, we have one passive skill point available. Now, what is this? This is skill tree line. Oh, this is huge. Yeah, this is huge. Check, check this out. <laughs> this is huge. There are three different types of the skill tree line. Like I said, let's say types. Not really types, but I'm gonna explain it like this. This part here is basically meant for dexterity. This part here is basically meant for strength. If you can see, plus 10 to strength, plus 10 to dexterity. And this, of course, is for mana intelligence. So here we are, um, this is our starting point in the skill tree line, as we picked up the ranger. For example, this is for Marauder, and this is for which I'm not quite sure, but I think it is. Anyways, um, I was googling some skill, tree, skill trees, um, and found some pretty cool ones, I'm gonna go and go with them let's say like that but for f for the first part I'm gonna go oh crap if you can see we're losing health which means that we're getting attacked by a mob uh, this is something you need to <laughs> be wary of because you can get attacked while being in a skill tree or inventory and stuff so you need really need to find a place where you can actually tab out and do stuff without dying so for the first skill in, uh, we're gonna go for attack speed 8% increased attack speed and this is a 18% evasion rating. Uh, we did, I'm just gonna go for attack speed for now. Apply points. There we go. So let's continue with the story. Now there's a little thing in the game which you can actually abuse. You can actually go past these mobs which will try to catch you but will not be able to catch you. So you can just go by the you know storyline and <laughs> decide not to kill any mobs. But that's not the point of this game, you know? It's hack and slash, you gotta kill everything. <laughs> Anyways, if you're an experienced hack and slash player and thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? Um, Forgive me, I'm not really used to this kind of game, so yeah. As this is our first mini boss, so let's take care of this fella. Now this guy should, should drop some blue items, some better ones than the white ones. Let me just try to kill him. As, as you can see, we are losing mana every time we we deal this special attack, and let's I just replenish my mana with the with the mana potion, which is also getting replenished every time you kill a mob, which is pretty pretty cool. Now, a couple of hits, and this guy should die. There we go. Now we got some pretty cool blue items. Um. Not that good, actually. <laughs> we got, what, a shield? Another shield, not really useful for the ranger and boots. Let's just pick this, pick these items up. These fellas, and let's check out in the inventory. Now, I could use this scroll of wisdom to unidentify the shield. Um, another shield, but... What's what's used to me if I'm not gonna use shield? So I'm just gonna keep the scroll of wisdom and actually unidentify the boots. So it gives us eight percent to cold resistance, which is pretty cool. I'm I'm gonna replace these guys with the there we go with these boots, the white ones. Anyways, um, as I said, I'm not gonna waste my scroll of wisdoms on these fellows, as I know I'm not gonna be using shields. 
So yeah, I advise you not to spend the scroll of wisdoms that easily. Enter town for your reward. Now this is the town we were talking about. Let's go in. So, um, this is the town, and this fella is actually a different player. You can see different players here. Now this is a level 5 player, we, we can actually add him as a friend, invite to the party, whisper this player, or trade. But uh, we're not gonna do any of this. So there are quite a lot of um, quests we can pick here. So let's start off with Nessa here. I've seen you before, back in Aurea. Yeah, I'm Running gonna like go through the... I'm not gonna bore you with Lano's this. Watch isn't much. But it's ours. Find a medicine chest, okay. Now we can, with Nessa, the, she's a vendor, so we can actually sell and purchase items. So let's just sell all our stuff we don't need over here. So instead of just clicking an item and placing there, you can actually hold shift and click there here and just sell them. As you can see, for every item we're gonna get a scroll fragment, which can be combined into... Five scrolls of fragments can be combined into a scroll of wisdom, which I was talking to you about before. Let's just sell these fellas. Don't need this. And it actually automatically combines the scroll of wisdom here. Which is a pretty cool thing. You would think, ah, well, I don't really need uh, white items. But actually, you they become really useful in the beginning stage of the game. So, yeah. Anyways, let's change, um, trade this. We got our scroll of, I um, scroll of wisdom and uh, scroll of uh, fragment here. Let's just sell these blue ones. Now we'll get transmutation shard. Now I'm not really sure what this shard is. A stack of 20 shards because an orb of transmutation. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm gonna be googling it later. I did watch a couple of tutorials on the game. You know, I don't really want to... What now? I don't really want to um, go into the game unprepared, so yeah. I work with Hillock as we completed the quest here. So we got a reward. And let's check out what these gems actually give us. So this game gem gives us fire multiple arrows at different targets. Two additional arrows. Okay, so these are three arrows per strike, which is per, per shot, which is pretty good. Let's see the bottom one. Attacks with both weapons, dealing damage on both on of both in one strike. Two wields only. It does not work with sh wands. Okie dokie, and the character swings their weapon in an arc towards the target. Also does damage to other nearby monsters. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with the dual strike um, gem, which seems pretty, pretty interesting. So I'm just gonna pick this one. And this over here, yeah, our quest is incomplete, and this is our stash. Our pretty cool thing with a stash is that it can be shared with all of your characters. So, if you're playing with a Marauder, if I, for example, make a, place this item into a stash, and if I make a new uh, character, a Marauder, for example, I don't know, a witch, I will be able to see this, I will see this item in, a, in my stash, which is pretty cool, cool thing. So, let me just place this back. Oh, I think we can actually sell these <coughs> items as well. Sell items. So, let me just sell them. We've got... Yep, scroll fragments, because they are useless items. <laughs> let's say like that. Anyways, we picked all the quests here, so let's continue proceed with the... Um, with the... Um, quests here. Now, another thing I have to mention, on the right side, you can see, click to level up. Now, my... Um, Jam actually got leveled up, so you will have to click to level up because, <laughs> well, you don't have to, but it will really help you a lot since you it will do more damage and yada yada yada. You you get the point. And let's continue. As here we are I've not seen a wilderness like on the this beach. Be some dark so let's continue with the story. As I said that countless times. <laughs> there are quite a lot of fellas here. Now I will be looking forward to some dual wielding weapons, of course. Um, I've been playing one game called um, Dragon Age Origins before, and I really like the fact of you know switching between um, bows and arrows and switching back to the dual wielding, yeah, dual wielding, dual wielding weapons. This is in my case really really cool feature. So I'm really hoping you can do this in this game. 
Um, well, my, maybe not while having a battle, but you know. As, as you can see, we have an arrow stuck in, stuck into the <laughs> rock here. Pretty cool. Go back, dude. Now, um, I'm interesting. Uh, I'm interested. Would you like to see um, some of the? Would you like to see full gameplay of this game, or would you like to see only interesting parts like dungeon raids, quests, and stuff like that? Just tell me in the comments what you think. And yeah, a really, really promising game because, for example, of the when talking about the tree line, you can actually go with a marauder skill tree. You know, you can you can you can do so much in this game with a skill tree. It's so freaking amazing. You can go strength with a range over here you can go mana with the marauder which is basically strength um, character so it, that's something which really spices up the game now holding shift and yeah you, holding shift gives you an auto attack um, attack and while not moving so that's another useful thing to know okay here we go this is the part Oh, who are you attacking? Oh, I thought another player is... Um, yeah, no. I thought another player is playing here, but no. <laughs> I'm forever alone. <laughs> Let's equip this sh um, helmet. Oh, a lot of fellas. I hope you can all hear these clicks there. In my opinion, they're quite annoying when you hear them on the... <laughs> there you go. Orb of Argumentation, whatever this is. Enchants Magical, new random property. That's pretty cool. Let's continue with these fellas. I'm really hoping for them to drop some short swords or something. An axe. Oh, there the we go. We leveled up. Gonna just spam the special ability. <laughs> My mana go. is gone. Uh, this is a staff. We don't really need staffs. Anyways, let's go to the um, skill tree and pick the when we take care of this fella. Because as I said, they can attack you while being in a skill tree. Ah! Oh, leave me alone. There we go. Okay, let's pick up the evasion rating apply points. There we go. So when pressing U button, you can actually go to the map. So up, oh, let me just take care of these fellas. There we go. So U, and this is the map as level two terrain, um, which we have quests and so we're gonna have to do some quests to do. Oh, get away from the wall, fire! I'm gonna have to complete the quests here. Well, not really have to, but I would like to complete complete my quests. In, yeah, before we go to a different, different map. Unfortunately, these fellas did not drop any good items. I was really hoping for some really good items, but nope, not that lucky. <laughs> and is here we should see. There we go. This is the part of the. No, stop following me, dude. Here is the part of the quest. Now let me just boost up on the potions here. This is the part of the map we have to go. There we go. And in we go. Now this part should give us some some better items, I hope. Oops, who are these fellas? Oh, nothing really special. Just the usual Joe mobs. Or how do you say though? <laughs> <laughs> ah, never mind. At some point of the game, you're gonna just have to make sure that you have a finger on the number one, two, or three where your pots are hot keyed. <laughs> so yeah, because sometimes you're gonna just have to, you know, spam the potions and yeah. The graphics of this game are so freaking good. I was really surprised for a free-to-play indie game to be so freaking good. It really promising game. Let's 
replenishing more mana. Oh wow, what is what is this? Oh there we go, some better mobs. This is um little boss. Oh my goodness, he froze us. Uh, potion, potion, do not die, do not die, no. There we go, whoa. Yeah, he will freeze us. Oh, we cannot be close to him. Right, okay. Lesson learned, lesson learned, get away. <laughs> See his HP, not that big, but it'll take quite a lot of shots to take him out. Number five, number five. Give me some mana. Oh man. Took a suck punch. <laughs> no, I'm gonna die. I, I'm so gonna die. Oh my goodness. I'm so gonna die. <laughs> kill him, kill him. No. Get away. There we go. Oh, we got... Uh, oh, we got some really, really good items here. Let's check them out. A mask, a medicine chest. Take the medicine chest. There we go. That's the part of the quest. Let's see. We got nothing. Orb of alteration. I'm gonna take this fella. Nothing and nothing too good. I mean, let's replenish on health. I'm gonna actually go to my inventory and check out. Whoa! Leave me alone, fella. Let's check out what this fella is. It gives eleven. 11 to strength, 26% increased armor and energy shield, 9% to cold resistance. Well, I'm gonna take this. This is a lot better than the displayed West we have. This is a mask. I'm gonna check what it is. 11% to lightning resistance. A lot better than the usual um, white one we had. Anyways, um, let's get out of here. I think this is, yep, this is the way to get out of here. Here we are. Let's finish the quest. A medicine chest. This means more to us than you can know. There we go. And we're gonna get a medium life flask. Um, I'm gonna go with the medium life flask here. Yep. Or should I? Hmm. 40% increased movement speed. Now, this is something I'm gonna take as a ranger. There we go. <laughs> Quest is done. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Tell me what you think about the game. Um, try it out. It's really, really fun. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next time. See ya.